Hi, it's Doug again, and this is Cool Beans Tutorials number three. So, today we're going to go through the basics of the two programs that we talked about in Cool Beans Tech. Soundforge 10 and Audacity 1.3. And by basics, I mean really basics. Like things that you probably should know even how to do even before you buy the programs. Such as the basic controls like moving your mouse, selecting your tracks, other really easy stuff like that, cutting up your tracks into bite-sized portions that you can do small minute edits in, aligning your tracks with one another so you can a you actually can ha have the... Uh, how do I explain this? Screw it, I'm gonna go on to the next point. And basic effects such as the ones we talked about in the Cool Beans Tech. And saving, because even though that seems somewhat easy, it is actually a bit difficult. Well, not difficult, because that would just be saying I'm stupid. It is harder than normal. So, we're going to start with SoundForge. Alright, so here we are in SoundForge. Uh, I'll just go over the basic things that are in this program. We've got our basic audio controlling buttons such as play, rewind, all that, record, open, new new tracks, and save save options. All right, so, so let's open a new track. So as you can see, there's only two tracks, as which I mentioned in the Cool Beans Tech video. There is also the channel meter, which shows the volume of your tracks. It's nice to have. Uh, and uh, SoundForge divides its effects options into two sections. One is effects, and the other one is processes. Both of them have different things that you can uh, you can modify your sound with. All right, so let's do something basic. So we'll add, we'll open up something. Insert now. Okay. Just open. I will go to something about Liam's hair. Yeah. All right. So this is a base file. The thing with this is, is that you should. Uh, I'll go over saving now. So we'll have to. We'll actually want to save this. So now we've got that saved because SoundForge is weird and likes to make uh, overwrite your copies your original copies because there's no uh, export function like other audio software alright so let's just play Please. this hair smells because he showers once a week alright so as you can see I just say Liam's hair smells because he showers once a week so why don't we censor something because that will cover some basic skills. Let's uh, take s smells. And so we can see that takes up about maybe a little bit under half a second so we can go to insert silence and do maybe point three but actually we have to delete this first because SoundForge is weird. So we'll go back and do that again. It's okay. Liam's and hair just because he showers once a week. So we've effectively censored out one word. Now if you want you can even replace this word with something else like if you're recording a mu you're recording music you can uh, put in a beep or replace a word with some, uh, a swear or something with something that's not as offensive. Alright, so let's just throw a filter on this for the heck of it. Select all. There we go. Alright, so we'll throw on a resonant filter and put on something like... Actually, I don't want this. This is stupid. Uh, let's go to distortion and absolutely rip up the sound with a gristle effect. So well, now it sounds like this. As he showers once a week. 
So now the sound is completely distorted and sounds relatively bad, but you could be going for this feature, this uh, this style if you're doing certain things with your music. Okay, so let's go back to saving. So we'll go to save as, and we'll call it three. So there's tons of options in saving. You can there's all of your uh, different formats. It's quite a few. There's MP3, all these other things that I really don't care about. It's your location. Then you can even change the bit rate, which is nice if you want to tone down and compress for files uh, to control your file size or even get some effects with just uh, compression. All right, so we'll just save this as Liam's Hair 3. All right. So that's about it for SoundForge. Let's move on to Audacity. All right, so here we are in Audacity, the second program we'll be uh, doing basic stuff on. So I'm basically going to cover the same thing as I covered in the SoundForge tutorial just in Audacity right now. So let's go over basic control locations. There's your, uh, your, uh, uh, your um, uh, screw it, I don't know the word, but all your buttons and stuff for controlling the location of your of, and what you want to do within your uh, track like playing etc. There's your selection tools uh, there's some drawing thing that I'm not really familiar with your microphone array, your speaker array and up here is your uh, channel meters which are actually called the output level meters or input level meters for the microphone so let's do the same thing and make a new track, so we'll do new I didn't want to do that, so we'll close back out I guess I'll just have to import them so let's go to that same Liam's hair smell space alright, so there's the same sound so we're gonna do essentially the same thing so we'll take, well, you can hear it again in Audacity, here you go. Liam's hair smells because he showers once a week. So we're going to take out smells again. In Audacity, it's way easier. Because all you have to do is go to Generate, Silence. And it takes the selected space. It's now silent. Now, as I said, you can also you can do all the things that I we uh, I said you can do in SoundForge, like replacing the word, etc. Great for music videos. Uh, in this program, so now we'll also do a uh, another effect thing. But what's great about this is that well, I'm not necessarily sure if I'll call it great, but the, all of the sound, all of your effects are in one block called effects instead of they're separ separated in SoundForge. So we can do an equalization thing then we'll throw on a walkie-talkie. So it'll sound like you're speaking through a walkie-talkie. Liam's hair because he showers once a week. Alright, so now we'll go into saving which is actually different than in SoundForge because you have to export. We'll use, as I said in the Coping Stack a few of the formats aren't working for me, so I'm just going to have to save this as Liam's Hair 2 as a WAV file, which I don't really like to do because it takes up space. Alright, so it's, uh, you have to go to Export under File, and then you just press Save. You get this thing, apparently my music is blues, so and then we'll say OK, and that saves the audio. All right. All right, that brings us to the end of our tutorial. Stay tuned for future tutorials and other Cool Beans Tech episodes that I will hopefully record and put up on YouTube in the next few weeks or so. See ya.